happy Sunday morning and welcome back to Angie's DIYs and on this segment of our channel is called give them something to talk about and our purpose for this is to give you a little bit of information to break into a gossip session or something that your peers or your co-workers are talking about that you don't really want to be a part of this is give them something else to talk about so today we're talking about the head over the wall. Have you ever heard this story? In the Old Testament in 2 Samuel, there's a, uh, they're seeking out this man to kill him. And here's how the story goes. While all the troops with Joab were batter, battering the walls to make it collapse, a wise woman called out from the city, Listen, listen, please tell Joab to come here and let him speak with me. And when he came near her, the woman asked him, Are you Joab? I am, he replied. Listen to the word of your servant, she said to him. And he answered, I'm listening. She said, In the past they used to say, Seek counsel and able. And that's how they settled disputes. I am one of the peaceful and faithful in Israel, but you're trying to destroy a city that is like a mother in Israel. Why would you devour the Lord's inheritance? And Joab protested, Never. I would never devour or demolish. That's not the case. There is a man named Sheba, son of Bacri, from the hill country of Ephraim, who had rebelled against King David. Deliver this one man, and I will, will withdraw from the city. And the woman replied to Joab, Watch, his head will be thrown over the wall to you. The woman went to all the people with her wise counsel. They cut off his head, cut off the head of Sheba, son of Bacri, and threw it to Joab. So he blew the ram's horn, and they dispersed from the city, each to their own tent. Joab returned to the king in Jerusalem. Now that's a story that will perk up the ears of the believers and the unbelievers. It's not commonly preached in church. And if you want to break up an uh, unfavorable conversation, look that up. Write it on a little card. Put it in your pocketbooks or in your little desk drawer so you can remember it. Read before the chapter, read after the chapter. There's a lot more in there. I think you'll enjoy it. See you next Sunday.